Okay, great ideas. Things have popped up. Percolation has created aha moments. You have lots of them. If you don't do anything with them, it's irrelevant. So what? Great ideas, unrealized, are irrelevant. The next step is having the courage to step forward and make them real. That's the fourth stage, is make it real. Taking all the opportunities, critically evaluating which ones give you the best bang for the buck, and then moving forward. This is where many organizations, individuals, and groups have some real problems. Because it's fine to be theoretical and, and sort of in your head, and you're doing it in the conference room, and we're coming up with ideas. It's when people start saying, well, my life's going to change? Really? You're going to move me over here or change what I do? No, 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 no. The status quo bias looks really, really good right now. One of the most important things to do in stage four, the make it real stage, is to have the courage to act. The status quo bias is ready to snap you right back and pull you into the quagmire. You have to be strong. The process of moving forward, this is the last quantum physics principle that I'd like to talk to you about. It's called entrainment, or non-local discontinuity. How's that for a couple of words put together? <laughs> Everyone gets that right away. You'll notice that in nature, in flocks of birds or schools of fish, when they instantly change direction in sequence, in a coordinated way so that the fish at the back of the school doesn't get eaten by the predator. That is the principle of non-locality, and it's something you can create in an organization. You create that in an organization through shared experience, shared commitment, and buy-in. People own the decisions moving forward. It's incredible how fast an organization can change its direction.